What is up everybody? This is Hugo Start Dance and welcome back to another Just Dance 2022 reaction. I think this is actually going to be the second to last one before before the last teasers come out, before the ga before the game comes out next week. Man, man, how man, how the time has flew by. So, yeah, these we got like a lot of pretty good songs. We're down to our, our last 7 because there's going to be 41 there. We got five more, so I think that there's going to be two more next week, and then we, w and then we are going to be all set. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to dive right into it. Also, sorry if I, if I sound like I am uninterested. I am a little tired because I am in exam weeks. Because yeah, I have, I have a lot of exams and. Trying to get the right answer or trying to get anything to work is just very, very stressful. So, yeah, thank you for understanding. So, I'm going to try to um, speed through these. So, let's go. Okay, then our first song is Love Story, Taylor's Version by Taylor Swift. This is the first Taylor Swift song that we had in a Just Dance. So, that's exciting. I think I would have preferred something like uh, Shake It Off or Look What You Made Me Do. Something much more energetic, but... Let's let's go. Hold on. There we go. Okay then, so, yeah, I have heard of this song before, but this is actually a solo version, which came out this year. So, that's something, so, it's, um, I guess it's, it's just, like, not that energetic. I, I'm usually not into the, the slow songs. So, yeah, I think I'll probably give the song a 7. As for the coaches... I do like lo love their design. Like I do love like the fairy tale aesthetic to it, since this is after all a love story. I also love the you know the like the the masquerade like you know very Romeo and Juliet, which the song does mention. In fact, the entire song to me, it's sort of like a combination of Sucker and Adore You, given like, and I'm more referring to like you know like the art style. Well, like the coaches look look like that they're from Sucker, and but like the whole painting aesthetic. That reminds me of Adore You. And, okay, then, yeah. yeah. I also like how it's, it's really, really colorful because you know, it's like, it's a fairy tale. Why not? I also like how she looks a lot like um, Feel Special, Player 1, and Player 2 looks a lot like everybody Backstreet's Back. It's almost kind of like, you know, like they're a little bit recycled, but, but it does fit with on theme. I also really love the masks because, again, Romeo and Juliet. So I think pro I'll possibly put the co the coaches on nine. So the background, hmm. I do like the painting aesthetic. Yeah, I, I also really like how you know, uh, like how it's yeah, how, uh, like how you know, <sighs> those like um scratches on the painting. Like it looks a lot. You can definitely tell like it's like painted, but also like um, like a frost up um window which actually i try to make that effect for my game and for one of my levels but yeah i love how like the different areas changed like from um i think like from um rapunzel slash romeo and juliet to um 
I'm like to like to this, this garden maze. And then the um and then the ballroom dancing. It's like, you know, like they, you know, they took a look like at like every, they took a look at every single fairy tale just to um just to make this. So yeah, I respect it. I think I'll probably give the background a not give the background a nine as well. Choreo seems to be It's not that bad of a choreo. I think it's kinda like a little bit uh forgettable. I, I don't think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go give that much attention to it. It's it's definitely something I'm not gonna go or give that much focus to. So Maybe I think I'll give the choreo a seven. So that puts Love Story at A 32. Yeah, I figured it was I figured it was a 32. I just wanted to um just wanted to confirm. Okay, then our next song is Stop Drop Roll by Io and Teo. Now this is a song that I have never heard before. Apparently it's a Ubisoft original. And it's also a collab by um other people by, by like um with um, yeah, yeah with, with, with a popular group, which is this this one, you know. I own a tail. Also, it really also apparently it released a few hours before all the other songs. I haven't seen it yet. It's not like um Yeah, it's it's not like that week. I think it was part three that I saw the songs first. So let's check it out. Hey, it looks pretty good. That's pretty fresh. Not gonna lie. That one definitely yeah, that one is pretty good. Let's see, so again, never heard the song, so let's give it a nine. It's pretty fresh. I do really like all like the coaches' outfits, like they do have like a lot of like, you know, simplicity to them. And I think it's kind of unique that, you know, they're all different in a way. Like it these are definitely stuff that you know you could cosplay you know, definitely cosplay out here. I guess, yeah, they're very simple, um, very, um, colorful, and, yeah, I don't see a problem with that. I think I'll probably give th the coach's outfits an eight. Now, the background is a very, very interesting one. Like, like it's like, um, different characters, like, in, in di different areas. Seems like that she's at a bar. He's he's a player in his house. She's at the beach and he's in an office. Like, is this supposed to be like um? I think it's supposed to be like reference like to you know one of those um, maybe it's like one of those uh, TikTok songs, or you know I think it's supposed to be like you know like, I think this song is supposed to represent like yeah you know, like a montage song where you know it's like different people from all over the world. No matter where they are, no matter what they're doing, they all come together to, yeah, you know, they all come together to do this dance. 
I think that's pr it's pretty inventive, and I'm I'm also really really glad that you know it's not ju it's not just their background it's not just the background like it, it's not just the backgrounds like like they're clearly inventive like that oh yeah like that effect. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it just reminds me, like, you know, if you ever seen, like, any, um, YouTube game, like, YouTube gameplay videos, especially ones that I do, yeah, especially ones that I do with people all over the world, there's, like, you know, there's, like, a split, you know, you can obviously see, like, a, you obviously see, like, a split screen, so I'm actually wondering if this song is actually supposed to be, you know, representative of that, like, you know, like, that these are all, like, just dancers, and that, you, they all know each other, and they're somewhere in the world, and then they're doing a gameplay t video together, and that's stop, drop, and roll. Because that's a pretty cool concept, and I think, I think for that, I'll give it, give the background a ten. As for the choreo, it does look very, very chill. I didn't actually kind of like that, um, how it's not in sync. This is just, you know, me being, you know, obsessive and wanting everything to be in sync. But choreo is pretty good. I think I'll give that one a 9 as well. All right, then. So that brings stop, drop, roll to a... I believe it's a 36. Okay, then. Okay like it it's not that bad okay then our next song is build the big by bella porch uh, first of all before we start i want to go say that i think it's kind of funny that you know that they actually is that you know is this actually gonna be like the original the real version just you know with um with censored out because i yeah because yeah they could have just said you know like build a babe but that's actually kind of funny but yeah, this was this was another song that was uh, teased, and you know a lot of people were pretty happy about it. Let's watch it. Okay, so it is build a babe. I like it. I like it pretty much. I think I have an idea for like um a mashup for it. Actually, I wrote it down in my chat. So, yeah, be sure to go uh, check that out. But yeah, I think I'll probably give the song ten. I do like the design of the coach. Like, like yeah, like the whole aesthetic. It's kind of like you know, like building toys. Since you know, since you know, the song is called um build a. <laughs> you know, and yeah. It's, and, and yeah, it seems also like the music video also has like that doll aesthetic. So yeah, I really like how it's like, you know, the process of like building toys, like, like, like we're in like a, we're in a blueprint world and yeah. And there's all of these, um, like measurements. Like I took a class, I took like a woodworking class and I had to go design a toy and I, I had to go create like blueprints for it. And it was really, really hard, but, for, but you know, the coach, I really Oh, I like your design, like. She does look a lot like a Barbie. And I'm not, but, but I'm, also glad, I'm also glad that they didn't, like, you know, make her, you know, like a, you know, like a Barbie bimbo. 
because it is supposed to be age appropriate for children. Okay, but yeah, it's, I do really like very colorful because that's that's essentially what dolls are. Dolls are just you know colorful. It's, I like how there's like phones, umbrellas, flowers, stars. Yeah, I really like the design. I think I'll give it a 10. Background looks pretty good. I, I really like the colors, and I, I do like all of, like, these weird toys contraptions, like, you know, rubber ducks on springs riding on rockets, the hedgehog mobile. Oh, oh yeah, that's, yeah, that, um, that thing that, you know, Jones like to play with the, um, the string and then, you know, the circles and how, you know, some of them are, like, bigger than the others. Like, like that educational thing. I, I think you see it a lot, lot like at doctor's offices. And... Oh yeah, rocking horses. <laughs> Franken bear riding on a rocking horse. I'm also... I also want to see that pixelated art. All I'm just going to think about is Undertale and Deltarune. <laughs> Ride the mono thinking like, you have the power of determination. But also this song, I also did the song, it's incredibly short. So yeah, it does kind of make sense. If I have to give, oh yeah, do you like the background? Like if I have to do give some criticism, like I kind of expect it like from here. I kind of expect it like to go like a little bit darker, like you know, it turns like a dark background since it's like you know, it's it's a bass drop, but whatever. I'll give give the background a nine. As for the choreo, going back to that bass drop, I really I kind of wish that there was like a little bit more to it. It also kind of just doesn't seem to fit that much. Like I don't know. But other than that, the rest is, is it's really good. I, I'll give the choreo a nine. That'll get, that brings build, build a to a 38. Pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Alrighty, then our next song is Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. So it looks like, like we're, yeah, we got another Billie Eilish song. To me, I was kind of expecting it to be Therefore I Am. I've, I've only heard of Happier Than Ever once. I didn't have like that strong opinion about it, but again, it was only once. Maybe upon rehearing it, I'll change my mind. So let's check it out. Call me again, in your bands, driving home on the You scared me to death, but I'm wasting my breath, cause you only listen to your I don't relate to you I don't relate to you, no Cause I'd never treat me this You made me hate this city And I don't talk about you It's actually, it's actually, you know, pretty good. All right, then let's talk about it. So, um, I will admit, happier than ever, it does seem a little bit questionable. To me, to me, it's a questionable choice. Like, um, again, I, again, I, again, I like the songs where, I like the songs that have, you know, they have like, you know, that much of a drop, like, you know, the songs that, you know, I find like really, really fun to dance to. So yeah, yeah, anything like upbeat, that's my game. And this one just seems like a little slow. It's not as slow as Love Story, but it, again, it's a little questionable for me. So I think I'll probably give this song a 7. And I love the style of the coach. I love how she looks like Rosie the Riveter. 
Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I also, also, I also love how you know she looks, you know, very fifties. Like, I actually think I saw somewhere on Twitter that I think like for some event, I don't know, maybe it's Oscars, but yeah, well, I know that Billy was embracing the twenties style, which I respect. I, I love the twenties. Yeah, I really like how how you know, you know, she she looks a lot like you know, you know, like a fifties housewife, and and I also like the scene song. Like, I think it's. Maybe it's like this, this. The theme of the song is, you know, about like you know, pr repression, and I love how she's kind of like you know, kind of like breaking out of it. But yeah, but yeah, I do think like it's it's a, I really like the um, like the representation of like you know, you know, like dread of like you know being in this um, this slave, you know, like being the slave in the um. Um, you know, being like a slave in a male-dominated world. I think it's yeah. I think yeah, it's pretty cool. Like um, I'll I think I'll I'll give the outfit a ten. Background, the background. I gotta say, I really really. Yeah. It actually does actually doesn't look look you know that very like old school like. It looks very, it looks actually looks very modern, which it kind of kind of doesn't fit, but it's in a way that I'm not kind of complaining about. I don't know, maybe I'm just really tired, and I don't I don't know, maybe I'm just not that tired. I don't have that strong of opinion on it. On it. Also, I really hope that 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 part of the video did not get out because I had to close something while I was in the middle of talking but yeah I do like the um, the orange because it um, I like the orange because it does kind of fit into that sort of sort of, sort of retro theme but yeah I think I like, get yeah, the background background up Given a nine as well, and the dance. I love the energy. I really love the energy about from coming from it. Like you know that I'm just done. Like that's actually how I'm feeling about my classes right now. I'm just done. I I, I don't even have the exams, but you know I'm just done with them. Like I don't want to focus on them. I. It's just way too stressful. There's supposed to be a there's supposed to be a lot of stuff that's gonna a lot of fun stuff that's gonna happen and I don't want to deal with that. I don't think anybody does. But last I think last at some point I'm going to. And you know actually now that I think about it I'm actually making plans for my work schedule. So I guess I, I guess I gotta I guess I gotta give thanks to the song. So yeah let's give the choreo a ten. Also, it has really nice pacing. Yeah, I really like the pacing of it. So that brings, um, that brings Happier Than Ever to another 36. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alrighty then, our last song is Save Your Tears Remix by The Weeknd featuring Ariana Grande. Okay then, so... All right then, so I think this is the one we're waiting for. This is the one with the collab, collab between Rock Your Body and Levitating. I guess more like the conclusion. Like, yeah. we've been following like the um the travel. We've been following like you know the traveler, uh, yeah, like the traveler story since season, since season four. But yeah, this is the this is the one with both Rock Your Body and Levitating as the coaches, and it's also it's also the remix with Ariana Grande. So. We're keep so we're keeping the Ariana Grande chain going, which I really do. Exp I I really do like like, like I really like I really like it when you know you know just something goes on for, for you know for a long time. I'm just basically ruining it to see you know how far they'll go, but yeah. Hold. Six songs in a row with an Ariana Grande song. Let's go, just dance. All right then, let's check it out.
Okay, then that was fun. That was fire. I loved it. It was so heartwarming. I actually think it's it's more to me. It's actually way more heartwarming than um. <clears throat> than love story. Don't hate me, but yeah, I mean, I mean, we have been we have been following these guys for um. Practically ever since you know um. You know, ever since, you know, they've been leaked, but, you know, ever since we knew that they were, a, I guess, you know, ever since, you know, season four of, you know, ever since, you know, season four of 2021 Unlimited. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the song choice, and I really like how, you know, it's, it, it's, it, it's not just the, the soul, just the original version with The weekend. So, yeah, I think I'll probably give the song a 10. I love how the coach, obviously, okay, then. This is actually really, really strange, but I've actually never done, I've actually never reacted to Rock Your Body or Levitating before. Possibly because that they were, possibly because, you know, they weren't released on the same day as mostly the other songs. Besides, yeah, it was just like one song, but I really do like both of those songs. I, I mean, I danced to them a lot. I, I danced to them a lot when they were on Unlimited. And, you know, I, I actually really can't wait to go action so i think yeah both the coaches like i really do like it and i also really do like how their color schemes they even sort of parallel each other like with the um yeah they parallel with the um yeah with it each other like the gold and the blue also here's a question nah never mind i'll probably think about the comments i'll 10. Now, the background, I love how it's like, you know, both a combination of the Rock Your Body background and Levitating background. But I also really love how, like, you know, how, like, each one in the background actually fits, like, a specific verse for it. Like, you know, like, for a weekend's part, it's Rock Your Body, and Ariana's part, it's Levitating. This is also really, really something strange, but one thing I actually noticed is that it seems like, you know, both Rock Your Body and Levitating, they do really fit with each other. Like, they have, like, the same pacing, like... Like, anytime, like, I hear levitating, I would just do the, the dance to rock your body. So, yeah, that, that was pretty fun. But, yeah, like, right here. This part's, yeah, the weekend, and, you know, you can see, like, the, um, the rock your body verse. <clears throat> oh, and then there's the portal, and then we are in the levitating verse with, um... Yeah, we're the levitating verse with, um, and during Ariana's part, but yeah, I respect that part. <coughs> Not sick. I guess I'm just a little dehydrated. I'm gonna have to get some water, but yeah, I really like that background. I think I'll give it a 10. Ooh, also check out the choreo. I also really like how they're... I also really like how um, they're... I also really like how, you know, like how they're, 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 they're like moves, you know, they, they fit. Yeah, yeah, they fit. It fit the coach. Like, you know, like I remember from Rock Your Body, he had, he had, you know, the Traveler guy... He had the glow, had the glowing arm, and the um, the only lady I forgot what her name was. Well, I, I know it's something I can't pronounce, but she has like the head glowing thing. I also really like how you know, the glows there. But yeah, I really like that. I'll give it a ten. Looks like Save Your Tears remix gets a perfect forty. Good job. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna watch this song like for the plot. Alrighty, that looks like that's going to be it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week, where hopefully if I don't have much much to do, I am going to be, be doing an, I'm going to be doing a tier ranking of all the Just Dance 2021 songs. I'm going to be dancing to all the previews. 
I'm just gonna give my drum opinion to all the songs now that practically almost every single one of them is out. Actually, I think the next week, yeah, next week we only have two more songs left. And so for that week, if somebody has managed to create an S tier that spontaneously, I am going to go rank all the songs. So yeah, that's probably going to be, that's going to be a lot of fun. So th thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also check, check us on my matchups. Goodbye. <laughs>